Hello, welcome back. I'm Morris Nimba, and today I want to show you how we can create single part drawings and uh, assembly drawings. Remember, we had done with the uh, model numbering. So the, the, the moment you're done with model numbering, what comes into your mind? How can we create drawings? So we are good, I'm going to show you how we can create single parts and assembly drawings. And uh, as we speak, we are under drawings and report. And in here, you can access all the tools that can help you in creating the drawings and setting up the drawings, drawing creation. Now, through drawings and report, you can access the drawing section. You can double click on the drawing section there and we'll take you there and we'll take you here straight away. Also, you can find your way back to model by either clicking this button here or clicking this button here. You can either click this or click the one that I showed you at the bottom end here. You can also go back to the drawing section by double clicking on this particular member or pressing Control D. So let me this time round, let me click on that, and that will take us to the model to the model section. Now, let me take you back to the drawing section by either clicking, double clicking on the drawings or clicking on the Control D or this this uh, uh, these drawings these drawings uh, at the bottom end here under Model Explorer. So let me just double click on that. So I want to access the drawing manager where all the drawings will be will, will be listed once you've generated all the, all the drawings, all the drawings, you'll find all the list uh, listed there. So let me just double click to access the drawings manager. Now, this is the drawing manager and all the drawings will be listed here. Now, I want to create assembly drawing uh, now. So to, us, uh, to create a simple drawing, we'll close this now, then switch back to our model view. So I'll either click on that button or, or double click on that. Or click on that, just left click on that and you'll we'll we'll tell you find yourself back to the model view. Now, let me just show you what is a single part drawing, a single part and, and what is assembly. Now, a single part, if I zoom close to this model, you're seeing this model here and I want to pick on this column. So this column, as it is, it is a column, but so many parts have been attached to it. You can see the cleats have been welded on it. So if you want to create a drawing for the column alone, you'll see if I click on the column, only the column gets selected and the base plate has not been included. The, uh, the cleats have not been included. So this is, is, as it is, it is, a single part drawing. So if I want to create a single part drawing, I'll just select on it. I'll just I'll select on it by left clicking, then right click and come to create drawings. So in here, I'll have two options to create single part. So if I click single part, only the column will be drawn and, and uh, the clips will be left outside. So let's first of all begin with how we can create a simple drawing. So I select on this part by left clicking then right click and come to select assembly. I mean, select assembly means add some components that uh, are attached to it that makes it as assembly. Now, the moment I select an assembly, you can see all the cleats and the uh, cup plates and all and other cleats have been added here, if inclusive the base plate. This comes as a pack and this is 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 assembled on. Uh, I mean, at the workshop, then uh, uh, shipped. To, 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 to site for, for erection or uh, installation. Now, if I right click and come to create drawings, I'll, if I come to create drawings, I'll come to create assembly drawings. We have two, op we have two options here. Uh, well, uh, let me just click on the, on the assembly drawing so that we create the assembly drawings. So let me just give it some time to process that information so that we get our assembly drawing already in place. Now, if you, to access our drawing, either press F6 or just double click on that on that drawing manager and we'll find our drawing in place. You, you can see the drawings, the, the assembly drawing we, we did already generated here and the drawing mark already marked there. So to open it, just double click on it. So they want to uh, double click on it, it will open up and you give it some time to load everything or to read everything that were, was generated as an assembly drawing. So once it's done, we can now close this. 
Now, if you take a look close, if you take a, if you take a closer look, you can see this assembly drawing has been done, has been generated with both views, side and uh, top views generated, all the parts that are attached, that all that were attached, all that are attached to, to the column has been included here. So this, all these are components that are forms assembly or uh, assembly part of that particular column. So this drawing is clean, clean as it is, and you can just print it out and submit it to to workshop for fabrication or for ma for manufacturing. So there's nothing you can edit here. Everything is in place and every detail is in place. You can see even the parts, even the weld thickness have been included. You can see that four millimeter. And the type of weld you can see it has been included there you can see the name of the profile has been included there you can see everything here so if i zoom close you can see even the uh, gasset plates are already in in place so there's some few touch you can uh, comb slightly it's just uh, the 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 accuracy of the, of the measurement like in this particular case we have a uh, two 244.8 and maybe don't want uh, maybe you have that type of a person doesn't work like uh, the decimals so you can get rid of these decimals as simple as this you can just either double click inside here and come to macros then select uh, then double click on assembly macros here then pick on double click on default here so the moment we click on default we'll come to annotation display here then pick on properties so they want to, you reach on properties here. Now we will come to precisions. Now under precision, we we'll take back to 0, 0.0. We don't need decimals there. We'll go ahead and click apply and we'll give it an okay. Then go ahead and apply and execute all, 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 all the changes there. So they want to click on that, it will close. Then everything will be affected. Close that, then come click okay. And if you zoom close, you'll be able to see we don't have that 244. It's now 245. So that if you remove those decimals, so we don't have decimals here. This everyone is, everything is up to the dot. Now you have everything here, and that's how you can uh, to, you can create uh, assembly drawing. Now let's go back on how you can create a single part drawing. So to create single part drawing, let's go back to our, our, our model view section. So I'll double click on the view there, on the model view there, so that we'll, we go back where we were. So in here, I've selected everything here as it is. So I'm going to right click once again and come to create drawings. And this time around, I'm not going to select assembly drawing, I'm going to select part drawing. So I'll click, click uh, create part drawing and I'll give it some time to create a part drawing right there. There, there it is, and I'll double click on that on, on, on the, that part, and the part drawing for that particular member has been done. So everything has been generated as, uh, on, on, on their own, whether gasset plates, whether the column itself has been done. So how do we access the column? If you come to A3 here and double click there, you'll be able to see or close that. You can see we have our column here, but it has been frozen just to fit inside an A4 paper. So you can see the, the, the our column here, this is a single part. You can also see the details here, the, the material here. Uh, the position is uh, the P46, the material is steel, the part name is IPE400, one number. The net length is six. The surface area is that the net weight has been given. The total the total net weight is given, and uh, and other parts that uh, uh, part part in assemblies. You can see all the parts that are companies all that are attached to that column. All ha has been generated as separate drawings. So we, you can go ahead and maybe put a line break here because the, the, uh, this column has been shortened. So I'll just double click here. So we want to double click here and I'll create a symbol there just to create a connection right there. So you can see that has been added. I, I can also do the same thing here. Just double clicking on it and to, to create a break line here just to close this gap. I'll add symbol there that shows this is a broken 
this is a frozen, uh, I mean, this is a shortened length of, of our beam, but the measurements remains intact. So I take this grid symbol and the click apply and give it an, 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 uh, an acceptance there. So this is how it looks. So it is full length of six meters, six point uh, six meter. I mean six meters. So we can get rid of this decimal here by by just double clicking on it, and uh, uh, by double clicking on it and coming to macros there, and double click on the macros there, and uh, come to annotations. So under annotations, I click on properties. So I'll target the precision. Then come here to zero point zero. I click apply and give it an okay and execute and click OK and give it an OK there. So you can see we don't have that decimal. So the decimal has been, we've gotten rid of decimal. So that this is how you create a single part drawing. So the other part, the other single, the other single parts uh, of this particular column that has been also generated. So we'll just work one by one, not all of them because there are many. So I'll add another break line here. So I'll just double click on that then check create symbol right there and click apply and give it an okay so that's this is how it looks so you can go ahead and save or if you want to go back you want us back you want us to go back to drawing manager you can always double click there and also we check another drawing here let's double click on that member and give it some time to open if you open it we have this plate here in place so if you come here, you can see we have P4, uh, part name is split, 254 by uh, one, by 1112, eight millimeter thick number is that. So these are single, single, single parts generated. So you can see that. So that's how you generate a single part drawing. So we'll go back to, to that, that, to that side and uh, go back and close that and go back to our model view, double click on the model view, and maybe we want to generate a single part on the rafter here. So we'll select on the rafter, uh, not single part, but just assembly, because single parts will, a uh, single part will be will be done for all the parts that forms assembly of, the, of, of this particular rafter. So all the drawings that falls under assembly of this particular rafter will be generated. So if we generate assembly drawings, all those parts will be combined in one particular page or one or, or, or one drawing or one uh, uh, if it is a A0, all, all, everything will be included in the same drawing. So let's just do one here so that you see. I'll right click and click assembly. Then right click and come to create drawings here and click assembly. So I'll give some time to generate drawings there. So it has been done. If I double click, and I'll be able to see we have it here. If I double click here, we give it some time to open so that you see the, the assembly drawing and all the single parts have been included in this, I mean, on the same drawing set. So you see all the parts have been included here plus the assembly. So it's, it, it's always better to choose which option is better for you. I prefer assembly drawings because I'll have everything in one place, like in this particular uh, situation. So you can see we have our rafter here, but w uh, it has been broken down so that uh, we, we don't use, we don't stretch, we, we don't use the whole length, or we don't fit the whole length of, of the rafter of, of the rafter in, in, inside this if a, a one paper. So just shorten it, and the measurement re remain the same. So let's add break line on the on the parts that have been have been cut off here. So let me just double click on the viewport here. Just double click on the viewport and check this create symbol, apply and give it an okay. You can see that being added. So that's all about on how you can create a single part and assembly drawings. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Morris Dimba and let's meet then.